Hi CS102 folks, um, this video is about the very first assignment, uh, specifically the work that you're going to be doing in the lab. So, in specifically, we're going to go over a small Linux review, number 4, and then 5, leave a text file on the server, that's another thing you're going to be doing and create, compile, and run your first C++. So, let's look at number four. A small Linux review. So these, remember, I will be the commands that you should be at the very least familiar with. LSCD and so forth. Uh, we're going to be looking at, uh, looking at a few of them in this video. And then there's some more recommendations on how to use Linux to your best advantage. Number five, you will have to leave a text file on the class server. In there I call the public HTML directory. And this video, on the video, we'll create a simple text file. We'll name it what it should be named, textonweb.text. And um, we're going to make sure we put it in the right place. And here you'll have even the address of the class server. This is going to be your gen account number, gen and a number, followed by number, right? And they will give you a window to your work, and we'll be able to see your text file right there. And then finally, you're going to create, compile, and run your first C++ program, which is right here. And you don't have to understand really any of it except for the process that you need to go through to take this English language C++ into a program that actually works and perhaps you can guess that the program only what job is going to print this on the screen hello world and a slash n which is nothing but a return character so that's the code you're going to compile and run if you can do that, then you'll be ready for next week when we can start the real programming part of the class. Now we switch to a terminal. This one happens to be a Mac Linux terminal, but the one you'll be using with, uh, on the PC will look very, much, very similar. The main difference is the logging in to the system. If you're a PC user, you'll be using PuTTY, as explained in the assignment into which you will enter the class server toolkit.cs etc when it logs in when you make a contact it will ask you for your username which will be gen followed by your number if you're on a mac you enter the whole command in one line ssh gen number add sign toolkit and regardless this will take you to the same place so let's press enter the, pa the server has answered and asking for a password. I'm going to now enter the password and you notice that the text of the password does not show up on the Linux. Okay, don't panic if you don't see your typing on, on the screen. Uh, I enter the password, it got me in and um, here's, you can recognize you at the shell because there's your username here and then you have this prompt and it's waiting for you to have a command. We can right now do a list, ls. It shows us a public HTML folder uh, that will be very important. We can do ll, long list, and that gives you the same data but with a little more, data, a little more information, such as your permission. There are three groups. Well, first of all, d stands for a, for a directory. The next three letters is read, write, and execute. This is for the owner of the file. You can do everything. The group is the next group of three. You can read and you can execute. And if you're on the web, for everybody on this directory, again, you can read and you can execute, but you notice you cannot write. That W is missing. At any rate, we're going to enter the public HTML folder. So you say cd, change directory, and then you name the directory. I can type pu, 
And um, as explained in the assignment, you can use your tab key, which will complete the file name if it belongs, if it sees it in that directory. Press enter, and we are now in the in that directory. Notice that you have you are in the Gen Home account, and in that home account there is a public directory, and it shows up in the path. Uh, you can do LL and you can see there's nothing in it. Text file. We're going to be using Pico, a very simple text editor. You just type it in at the prompt, press the space, and name the file that you want to create. Uh, in our case, we'll do a text on web txt and uh, press enter. Whatever we want, and um, you can use your return characters or your entry key. You can use your up arrow key, left arrow, right arrow key, and you can use a delete key. It works pretty normally. It's a stripped-down version of a text processor, but there's, it, it works. Uh, the nice thing about Pico, it does have um, control character for different options. So at least you don't have to memorize them right away. Here's the exit, and control X will ask you if you want to modify this file, they call it a buffer, and you say yes, and then it wants to make sure you're still okay with the file name, and then if so, you press enter, and we're done. If you do Pico again, and before we do this, uh, let me delete this and use the other important Linux shortcut, which is the up arrow key. If you use the up arrow key right now, it will show you the last command which is always very nice. So we are going to look at Pico again and here's the, the text showing up. We do a control X and we don't have to enter anything else since we did not make any changes. Now we're going to get out of a public HTML. The quickest way to get back in the home account is CD. You could use CD dot dot if you were going back in among directories. But just to go back to the home directory, just use CD and you notice there's no more public HTML in the path. So the assignment asks you to create the hello world back in the home directory. So here we are. Let's do a pico and we're going to call it hello world dot cpp. Those, that, uh, those extensions are important. It tells you that this text file actually contains C++ code. We enter and we're ready to enter the code. So let's go back to the assignment which gives you exactly what to enter. Almost exactly. There is a space here that you're going to have to take out. So let's just copy simply without understanding too much of it. Go back to the, and paste and there it is. So the first thing you want to do is explain the assignment is taking take out this blank which will cause this program not to run at all in C++ and this is a uh, forward slash twice is a comment and when it does say get rid of space in our stream and so this is a library this is a uh, giving an extra little command. Main begins the CPP program. And uh, you got the open curly Q brace and closes. Everything in between will run in this program. The count statement is C out. It's an output. And in quotes, we simply type whatever we want to appear on the screen. In this case, it will be hello world followed by slash in, which is nothing but a return character. So don't worry too much about knowing what this means. We're going to start next week 
and we're going to explain exactly what everything does. For now, this is a workable code, and if you save it, Control X, Y, return, the program is now ready to be compiled. Let's just uh, up arrow key and one more time make sure that everything is hunky dory, and it is. Control X goes back without saving. Now we are going to compile it. And C++, now you enter the name of the file that you want to compile, which is hello. And of course, we're going to use the tab key because that's way too long. Following this, you have an slash O to create a new file which will now contain the machine code for this CPP file. And you want to basically call it this roughly the same thing, but you want to take out the .cpp at the end. Just no extension for an execution, an executable file in C++. So we'll just call it hello world. And it's very important to not call it CPP, otherwise your CPP file will be replaced by the machine code and you'll never see the C++ code again, which means you'd have to retype it. So make sure that the, in first place you have the CC, CPP file itself and the second file is one without an extension, that one will run. So press enter and if there are no errors it will quietly continue. Now to run a file as explained in the assignments you do dot slash hello and of course the tab key. Well hello there. It must be slow right now. There we go. Hello world, press enter and there it is. Hello world and there's a return characters because now the 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 prompt is on the next line. Without the slash n it would have been right next to it. So okay, so that should do it. Uh, good luck with the first assignment. Just make sure you can uh, understand the Pico and the C++ command and how to run the file and how to put a file into the public HTML folder. Thank you very much. Talk to you next week.